Hey everyone and uh, welcome back to Slope Up Racing with me Mark and uh, welcome back to the Ultimate Racing League Sunday Championship. Um, so I forgot what I was doing then. Uh, yes, it's the Sunday Championship with the Ultimate Racing League and uh, we are with the League of uh, Champions guys and we are ready for race two here in uh, Switzerland at the Deep Forest Raceway and we are on the reverse circuit so race one fantastic race from these guys we saw bailey take the win um, with callum and smith closely following behind this time round, it is a reverse grid now also just to add something into the mix there is a mandatory stop and uh, two compound tires have to be used so it is the uh, racing softs and the mediums that need to be used um so uh yeah mandatory pit stop so it should make things a bit more interesting so we shall go down the grid order so they are in um the positions they're in are in the positions they finished as i say as a reverse grid so same shimmer's cash finds himself in pole position fitzy is in second sideways george is third paul is in fourth grasshopper fifth Toten six Kenny is in 7th, Neil Farmack 8th, Dirk is in 9th with Toby 10th, Smith 11th, Callum 12th and Bailey all the way down in 13th. Now I'm not sure if we've uh, missed one, uh, no my bloody phone's going off and I do apologise for that. So um, not sure if somebody's missing, I can't remember, we will find out as we go along. Um, but what we'll do is we will uh, first of all switch this bloody thing off and um, we should get these guys underway rolling start as before so if you just look over the brow of the hill you might just see the lights change no the cameraman decided to switch before we got to that point but Seamus Cash gets us underway down this very long long straight down the hill through the turns that are there and not there depending on what track guide you read and uh, we are into what they class now as uh, or what I'm going to call is turn five which is the hairpin as Seamus gets us around there now we're just going to have a look oh it's all a bit touchy feely in there isn't it <laughs> let's uh, let's go back and um, see if we can see what's happening here as they go around the hairpin I'm just having a look now it all seems to uh, kick off there from sideways and grasshopper uh, let's have a look and see if we can find somebody else and go back and have a look and see what's happened so uh, we're with grasshopper at the minute up the hill into this sweeping left hand uh, up to the hairpin and now this is where you've got to try and get the car slowed down so grasshopper goes through sideways george spins in front of him that sends grasshopper off he collides with smith and it's oh it's like uh, it's like dodgems everybody now on their way again So yes, all a bit uh, a bit touchy feely as they go in there. A grasshopper alongside his teammate Toby, side by side. You don't want to be knocking your uh, your teammate off, do you? And Toby, a bit of a slide going on there as Bailey goes through, or does he go through? Yes, he does. So Bailey goes through to ten. Just takes that uh, position away from Toby and Grasshopper. So up at the front, Seamus Cash still out in front on lap one he's just coming up to uh, turn 18 and he's still out in front best place to be at the minute we've got Fitzy just behind then we've got Toten and Kenny the lag seems to have calmed down a little bit with Kenny he was all over the place wasn't he in, uh, in the first race but things have calmed down a little bit and I hope it stays that way for him he's trying to put Toten under pressure as they head up towards the hairpin oh no the lag's back wow dancing Kenny I think we'll call him from now on desperately trying to put the pressure on Toten 
Callum made his way up to fifth, so he's had a fantastic first race, as uh, lap, as has uh, Bailey. So Callum into fifth, Bailey into sixth. Let's go on board with Bailey. We've got uh, Neil Farmack there trying to put the pressure on. Oh, now then. Was that Callum just uh, slowing down too much, or was that Bailey going in too hot? Both still going though. Dirk went through, Neil went through. So Bailey come off worse on that one, and he's got his teammate pushing him along as well. Toby and Grasshopper just in the background. It is really congested in here, isn't it? As they take this series of S bends, turn 16, 17 down the hill towards turn and 18 which is the final turn Bailey gets himself on the inside of Dirk Dirk though with a fantastic exit manages to uh, pull away from Bailey so Bailey having to slot in behind him Bailey getting pushed along by his teammate so Ronnie and Reggie ganging up on uh, Derview as we approach the hairpin Bailey gets through. Now Smith, is he going on the inside? No, Dirk managed to shut the door on him there. We've got, uh, who else is in there? Oh, they're all in there. Grasshopper's in there, Toby is in there. So Grasshopper and, uh, and Toby now starting to uh, work as a team. They're trying to, uh, trying to gang up on uh, Smith through turn nine. Dirk has managed to get himself in between Bailey and Smith. So just up at the uh, at the pointy end, Seamus Cash is still out in front. Fitzy in second. Toten has made his way up into third with Kenny just behind in fourth. So Toten Toten making a move on Fitzy gets it done. He gets himself on the inside. Fitzy fighting back though. And Toten does get it done. That was a great move from Toten to take that second position away from Fitzy. Fitzy just slotting in behind Toten though. He's definitely going to be in the slipstream. Now is Fitzy having a look? He hit, he's pulled to the right, which means Toten will be on the inside. No, he won't be on the outside, won't he? Oh, I'm not excited, I'm getting all over the place now. Toten still in second. Can he get it slowed down? Yes, he can. It looked like Fitzy went very deep into the turn. That's cost him a little bit of time and has allowed Toten to uh, get away. But Fitzy in third with Kenny in fourth. Kenny now coming under pressure from Callum. The problem Callum's going to have now is uh, trying to second guess which direction Kenny's car is going to go so we can uh, make a move on him so Callum all over the back of Kenny does Callum wait until he gets onto the straight that might be the uh, the wisest thing to do so we can give Kenny quite a wide berth as I say it's going to be very difficult to, for uh, if we go on board with Callum you can see what he's looking at so, is this where he's going to make the move? He's pulled alongside Kenny, he needs to get by as quick as he can because he doesn't want that car jumping backwards and forwards all over him. He has, he's got it done. He's now going to put a challenge in on Fitzy. Fitzy trying to go defensive. Hard on the brakes, try and get around this turn. And they are both through. Oh, Kenny then goes up the inside. We missed that while we were in there in the car with um, Callum. So let's just have a watch from this point of view while Callum and uh, Fitzy are fighting it out. Kenny gets the cutback done and takes them both. He caught them both uh, by surprise there. So Kenny up into third. Oh no, Fitzy. Fitzy's managed to get the spot back from him. Or has he? Callum desperately looking for a way through. 
there was a gap in the middle there I thought he was going to go for it but uh, decided against it these three having a proper fight aren't they Kenny got himself into third Callum in fourth Fitzy in fifth We are on lap five and there's no signs of uh, any of them calming down. Now remember they do have to make a pit stop so we'll go through the tyres shortly. The pit window I think is going to be open, open between uh, 10 and 20 minutes. So we are looking at around lap eight-ish I think. So let's have a look at the tyre situation as Seamus Cash comes under pressure from Toten Toten manages to get the move done and takes the lead away from Seamus Cash Toten on the medium tyres as well so that was a fantastic move from him Seamus Cash on the softs Kenny's on the medium so Kenny despite the uh, jumping all over the place is actually having a good race Callum pushing them along on the softs and surely he's going to get the move done now Callum on the inside as they go down the hill through turn 8 down to turn 9 and Callum will get that move done with the soft tyres although Kenny's coming back at him So Kenny in fourth on the medium tyres. Fitzy also on the medium tyres. He's under a bit of pressure from Dirk. He's on the medium tyres. Then we've got Neil Farmack with a one second penalty. Like I say, these penalties really being handed out. Neil Farmack's on the mediums. Then we've got Ronnie and Reggie just sitting there in eighth and ninth. Are they both on the mediums? They are. So a lot of the guys out there using the medium tyres in this uh, first stint. Now, can Smith get onto the back of his uh, teammate Bailey, push him along and uh, make up some spaces here? There's, uh, doesn't look like there's a lot of room in front. So Bailey's gone into seventh, nearly he's going to have to serve that penalty, so that should allow Smith to uh, get past him. As Bailey goes through to six. Who's that? Fitzy. Fitzy in seven. So Neil pulls over. So it's Fitzy now in seventh, just behind Bailey. Fitzy having a look up the inside. Getting himself in the mirrors of Bailey. And Bailey has got his eye on Dirk as well now. Oh, a bit of a kiss with a barrier. Bit of a side swipe. Didn't put him off though. Let's go on board with Fitzy and see it from his point of view. We've got Bailey in front, we've got uh, Smith behind. You can see Paul just sitting there in the background as well. Through this second section of S's. Through turn 16, 17, down to down the hill towards 18. Good exit. Now it looks like Bailey went a bit wide there. He's still got himself in six, so Bailey dives into the pit, so pit window open and uh, you can see a whole flurry of cars going into the pit, so Toten is in, who else, Kenny, Dirk, Bailey, Smith, so anybody using the mediums has just decided that's it, I'm in, I'm getting rid of them, the only one, Toten, Toten has come in. And, right, Toten back out on the softs, that's right, he was on mediums, wasn't he? So all the guys running the medium tyres have come in and changed them. Toten was our leader, he's now down in seventh. So all the guys on the soft tyres have stayed out, they're going to run them as long as they can. Remember, they've got to pit before the 20 minute mark is up. But our current race leader at the minute is Callum. Seamus Cash in second, having a much better race than the first one. It really wasn't, uh, he really didn't enjoy himself, did he, first time out. Having a much, much better race um, this time. So, two teammates, one and two. 
Paul has got himself up into third, he's on the softs, he will have to change, the same as the guys in front of him. But I'm sure the plan is to try and get as far ahead as they can, so that when they do pit, they can get back out and get in front of the other guys. The other guys though are, aren't going to be in the um, soft tyres as we see somebody else diving into the pits there. It was Fitzy. So Fitzy did an extra lap on the, on the mediums and sideways is in. So Paul up into third. Grasshopper in fourth, still on the softs. Toten has already been in, now in fifth. Kenny in sixth, he's out on the soft tyres now. So he can uh, he can get himself on a bit of a charge. Then we've got Dirk, Bailey, Smith. All these guys have been in and changed their tyres, so the guys ahead of them will have to change. Toby in sideways, who's that's just served a penalty, I think it might have been Neil. Neil's picked up a few penalties this uh, this weekend, hasn't he? Not like him really. He just find himself all the way down in 13th. Now I did say somebody's gone missing and I'm trying to work out who it was that we'd lost. Unless I just counted wrong at the beginning. So Callum now starting to stretch away from his uh, teammate. Yet to make a stop, he's got about another six and a half minutes to do so. He doesn't want to uh, make the same mistake he made last week. I'm sure he's going to be conscious of that. Paul having a much better race this time out in third, although when he pits the same as the guys in front it is very possible they could come out sort of around the seven seven and eighth position as Dirk tries to put Bailey under a bit of pressure as they come out of turn five down towards the first tunnel headlights on As they go through the second tunnel down the hill, hard on the brakes as soon as you see that kerb. Through turn nine, and then ten into the first of the short tunnels. And then you're into the S or the first S section. Dirk sticking with Bailey. Current fastest lap at the minute is Callum with a 126.0. So a little off pace from the first race. I think it was a 125.2, I believe, was the quickest one in uh, race one. And Toby in 10th, Neil in 11th now. He's made his stop. Fitzy and sideways having a bit of a fight down there in 12th. Sideways pulls to the right of Fitzy as they go down the hill. There's a bit of a right hander, then the left. Through the hairpin. This is the battle in uh, 12 and 13th, and I've said it many times, you don't have to be at the front to have a good uh, a good scrap, and that's exactly what these two are doing. So back up to our race leader, Callum, as he takes turn 18 for the 11th time. He's coming up to uh, cross the start-finish line. I don't think he's going to pit yet. There's no need. He's got about another four minutes yet. But he does need to keep an eye on the time. He's going to have to go on to the medium tyres, the same with uh, Seamus Cash, although these two looking very comfortable at the minute. I think if Callum does pit at worst, he's probably going to come out in probably third or fourth, at worst. 
So then we've got Grasshopper sitting quite comfortably in third. He's under no real pressure now. Toten in fourth. Now Toten has made a stop. Remember he started on the medium tyres and uh, he's now onto the soft so he, he can get his head down and try and catch up with the guys in front. It's a pity we don't know what the actual timing is between them. Dancing Kenny in fifth. Again, there's another one that has already made a stop. Then we've got these three having a battle. We've got Bailey, Dirk and Smith all trying to get that uh, sixth position. Bailey currently holding it. Let's go on board with Dirk as we go through these S's and then down the hill towards the final turn and back onto the uh, start finish straight. Bailey does quite, go quite deep into that corner doesn't he and that may be just so that he can uh, get his foot down a little bit earlier on the exit. S Smith sitting behind Dirk trying to get in a slipstream. Dirk obviously being pulled along a little bit by Bailey. I don't think he's uh, he's fully in the slipstream there, but uh, he's getting a bit of a toe. Try and go down, down the gears, try and get that car slowed down for this hairpin turn. Good exit from Dirk. Smith still sitting there. Let's go up to our leader at the minute, Callum. He has got ooh, about just over a minute. Now, will he come and pit this lap? Surely he's got to. He has, yeah. He wasn't going to get around there before the 20 minute window shut. So, Callum's in. I'm sure Seamus Cash is going to follow him. Yeah, he's in. Grasshopper in as well. The pit window will be closing in a minute. So, Toten should retake the lead. And he has, or is Callum out? So, is Callum just exiting the pits? Toten coming up alongside him. And Toten just squeezes himself through. So Toten now our new race leader, he is on the soft tyres, Kenny has taken second, he's also on the soft tyres and Callum has come out in third on the mediums. So the two guys in front of him are on the better tyres as Callum has a look at the inside of Kenny, very dangerous thing to do when Kenny's uh, dancing all over the place but Callum gets it done. Kenny fighting back though, still side by side these two. Kenny retakes, oh dear me, all over the grass. And picks up a penalty for his troubles, all the while these two are fighting. You can see Bailey creeping closer and closer. Now Bailey is also on the soft tyres, so he has got the better tyres between himself and Callum. Callum having a, a right nightmare, trying to find a way past Kenny. As Bailey tucks in behind Callum again, that uh, very wide line to get a good exit. Tucks right in behind Callum, he's, uh, he's sniffing the arse end of that car, isn't he? And he's going to pull out, he has. So Bailey makes his move early on. He has got the better tyres, so Bailey gets it done, he gets through into third. Up ahead, Kenny with a half second penalty, so he's definitely going to lose that second spot to Bailey. So Kenny sort of pulls over. Now I say he's definitely, he's not. I thought Bailey was going to take that uh, second spot away from him. Maybe he's going to have a go at doing it down at turn nine. Bailey going all the way around the outside, trying to get the cut back. Kenny Wise to that one. 
very defensive Kenny although that car is all over the place so I'm sure it is making Bailey dizzy uh, he's through Bailey has got through now Callum is going to try and follow him let's have a look so Kenny oh, he's still all over the place Callum let's have a look in on board with Callum he has got Dirk pushing him along Smith is having a bit of a look as well Smith trying to get himself on the inside of Dirk and it looks like he's managed to get that done I think the hold up in front prevented Dirk from coming through and Smith took full advantage. Callum still trying to find a way past Kenny. You can just see Bailey in up ahead. Now, can Callum, is he going to look at the cutback? He's, no, he couldn't get that done. Smith all over the back of Callum now. Of course these cars are all the same make car so they're all evenly matched for uh, power. It all just comes down to driver skill and in this particular race as well tyre choice. Oh, I thought there was going to be a little bit of a bumper kiss there from Callum onto Kenny but uh, no I think he, uh, he managed to get the car stopped in time. However that has allowed Smith to get right on the back of Callum but has picked up a penalty is Smith making it move on the inside he is so Smith gets himself on the inside of Callum and goes through Smith on the better tyres great move from Smith let's just go back and have a look at that from a different angle So all the while Callum is trying to concentrate on uh, what direction Kenny's car is going. He probably took his eye off the ball, went a little bit deep into that turn and Smith was able to uh, take full advantage, get himself up the inside and snatch that fourth position away from Callum. Although if Callum can stick close enough to Smith then uh, he will take that, uh, that spot back when Smith serves the penalty. Dirk now joined the party and he's all over the back of Callum. Dirk on the soft tyres as well, so he does have a very slight advantage, although Callum, we well, you know he's a quick guy, whatever tyres he's got on. So up the hill through the left hander towards the hairpin. Dirk trying to get that car slowed down tries to get on the inside of Callum can't quite get it done Smith is going to have to slow down as Callum <laughs> Callum's got through so Callum goes through to fourth with Smith in fifth they're trying to have a look as well going as wide as he can on the entry to that and picked up a penalty for it and that's the reason he went as wide as he could at turn 9 to try and straighten that turn out and as a result uh, went across the track limit and uh, Smith has picked up a penalty so Dirk I'm sure he's just going to sit there behind him knowing full well that he can nick that spot away from him when, uh, when the penalty served So let's just drop down the list so Toby sitting in seventh he's under no pressure at all Paul as well in eighth all on his lonesome same with Neil Farmack in ninth then we've got Grasshopper Fitzy same as Cash has uh, found himself all the way down in 12th that'd be after the pit stop and then sideways George in 13th so everybody would have made their stop by now back up to our race leader Toten you can see Bailey's getting closer and closer we've got uh, what three laps to go as Toten goes round turn 9 heading towards the tunnel the short tunnel first of the short tunnels So it's Toten, Bailey, Bailey in second, done well to get himself up into second hasn't he? 
and I'm sure it's not going to be long before he's putting the pressure on Toten. He needs to uh, avoid the penalties though. Kenny in third, a little bit of breathing space back to Callum. Callum unfortunately hasn't got the same uh, privilege, he's not got any breathing space at all. Dirk is all over the back of him. Definitely in the slipstream and Smith is there as well. You can see Dirk practically pushing Callum along, so he's made his move now. He's pulled to the side, has he gone a little bit too early? I think he may have done, he could have waited that little bit I think. So, bumper to bumper. Smith is in there as well, Smith, a great exit from, uh, from turn 5, gets himself alongside Doug. And has managed to get in front of him now. So that was a good move from Smith. Dirk fighting back though, Smith got his eye on Callum, is he going to try and make a move? He's gone very wide at that turn again, that's where he keeps picking the penalties up from. Got away with it this time though it looks. Yes he has. So a fantastic move there from uh, Smith and Dirk has both gone through to take Callum as well. Callum of course on the medium tyres the other two on the softs so there is a very slight advantage Callum it's all over the place that uh, the back end of that car isn't it Toby currently sitting in seventh he would have been watching all of this taking place ahead of him it's allowed him to catch up then we've got Paul He's got his teammate just behind him, Neil Farmack. Now, they did have a bit of a swap over. Oh, Paul getting a bit out of sorts there. They had a swap over in race one. It looks like they're going to do exactly the same in race two. I think Paul's moved over to allow uh, Neil through. And that's exactly what's happened. So maybe a little bit of team orders there. Paul has uh, probably said to Neil, look, you're a bit quicker than I am. So you go for it and see if you can uh, catch up with Toby. Paul's on the mediums, yeah, Neil's on the soft, so it was probably the right thing to do to let Neil go through. He's probably got a better chance, as I say, of catching up with Toby, although I don't think he's going to do it. There's too much of a gap. And Grasshopper down in 10th, he really is on his own. With Fitzy, Seamus Cash and Sideways all spread out at the back. Oh, and Bailey, we missed it, but Bailey has got himself. What's happened here? Oh, we're all over. Right. So Bailey making a move on Toten, going the long way round at the hairpin, looking for the cutback. He gets a fantastic exit. Goes side by side with Toten, just gets his nose in front. Toten fighting back, though. Toten just slots in behind, down the hill. Yeah, Toten, that was, uh, that was a big ask of Toten to go round the outside on that one. A good defending from Bailey. Keeps himself in front. So Toten just going to stick with him now, maybe look for a good exit out of turn um, 18 for the final lap. You can see the fuel light flashing. So uh, the guys really are running on fumes. So as I say, as they come... To oh, what's happened to Toten? What happened there? He's, uh, he's right on the back of uh, Bailey. He comes down towards turn 18 and bang! I'm just going to go back and have a look at that from his point of view. It's almost like the barrier just stepped out in front of him. Bang! Oh, that's got to hurt. And that has dropped him down to third. Kenny has gone through to second. That was so unlucky for Toten. I bet Bailey couldn't believe his luck. 
so it looks like Bailey could be taking his second win of the day Dancing Kenny in second with Toten in third at the minute and then we've got uh, quite a group of cars coming Smith now moving up to the back of Toten we've got Derview in there as well Callum down in six Toby seven so a good group of cars now chasing so this could be anybody's looking at that um, third podium spot as Toby tries to got the inside of Callum <clears throat> A bit of uh, a bit of door bashing there, but nothing too serious. Toby taking that sixth position. Toby on the soft tyres as well. Callum struggling on these mediums, I think. I think he's, uh, he may be regretting starting on the softs now. So let's just go back up to our race leader as he takes turn 18 for the last time he is going to take the second win of the day and a well fought well deserved win for Bailey Kenny is going to get second with Toten third Smith fourth Dirk fifth Toby is sixth Callum seventh Neil Formack comes in eighth with his teammate Paul just behind in ninth Grasshopper is going to come home in tenth With Fitzy, going to be 11th, Seamus Cash 12th and Sideways George 13th. So that was race two. Please join me next week when we will be at Brands Hatch <coughs> for another two sprint races. That should be uh, a lot of fun. It's a very tight, very narrow track. So uh, I am expecting all sorts of uh, shenanigans at, uh, at Brands Hatch next week. As we just uh, watch everybody cross the line. So thanks for joining me. I'll catch you all later.